Hi, this is Dan Bullard, retired electronics engineer, out on the river. I'm up here at Fort William Bend, I think, on the Multnomah Channel. And uh, that's that's where I live. You know, you think about, this is a great place to live, you know. I mean, there's a lot worse places you could live. And sure, I'm near Portland, but those guys can't get to me. Where I am now, especially, they can't get to me. Um, I want to talk about the really interesting things about harmonics. Law 2, mostly Law 2, um, but also Law 4 and some others. Um, I'm referring to Bullard Laws of Harmonics. Um, one of the really interesting things that I discovered recently was Law 5. Bullard Laws of Harmonics number 5 says that the phases of all the harmonics for a distorted wave will either be at 0, 90, 180, or 270 degrees relative to the sine wave, the fundamental of a sine wave. Now, it depends on the phase of the fundamental. And so, if you start with a cosine wave, as I mentioned in other videos, if you start with a cosine wave, Davers' Law says that you only have two phases to worry about. And that's a really beautiful thing, only two phases, zero degrees, 180 degrees. So, um, but mine goes with uh, the fundamental being a sine wave. And David discovered that with a cosine wave, it's only two phases. But be careful, because if you try to cheat and say, oh, I want to do like uh, 45 degrees. Okay, start with a 45 degree angle on your sine wave. Now what do you get? Oh, you get thousands of phases. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, that's the way it works. If it's a cosine wave, you get two phases. If it's a sine wave, you get four phases. And if it's something else, you get an infinite number of phases. So, terribly sorry. <laughs> that's just the way it works. Now, the really interesting thing about that is, <clears throat> you think about how the god of harmonics is going to make these waveforms. How is he going to make these waveforms? He's got to add harmonics. So you do that by adding harmonics in different amplitudes. But remember, you can't change the phase from the standard. 0, 90, 180, or 270. You can't change it. And so what else would the god of harmonics do? The god of harmonics would give you umps to go along with the sinusoidal behavior and those humps would bounce around depending on what angle the uh, distortion happened at. So law two is just it's friggin' brilliant. I can't tell you how brilliant it is. It's just friggin' brilliant. Don't believe anybody else. They're full of it. Anyway, wind's coming up, so I'm gonna go. It's from the river. See you later.